you make it. Give a way to Garani and the Anjanine, or the Anine, and tell Prince that was a mother dent. Near an open anime boy in our water. Tanya went out for the young way he pushed me like in the other two way, man, and your better. Tapan, Tanya, and Beku, then Tanya, and Swear, Piani, and Rugi. Give a make up Yafra, where Guzzo seek. Tanya, when you better mass in your house over to the Sopra, and a jammer, sit a lady in Marone, he said, he said, he said, Mamma de Regicinetti. Mama de Regi Chinetti, Mama de Regi Chinetti. Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from around the world. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much and remember us. Remember, in this channel, we talk about the freedom of the indigenous people of the country from called Nigeria. Every indigenous tribe is included. The Biafrans, the Ududuans, the Middle Betans, even the Northerners, those who want to be free. We are speaking on your own behalf for you to be free and practice whatever you want to practice on your own zone. We are not preaching hate. We are preaching that you should live and let us live. And for those who said we will not live, they have a problem with us. And we have a problem with them. These are the people we will not let be because they don't want to let us be what are we asking for freedom referendum so that we can be able to decide our fate referendum the ability for everybody to decide where he or she want to belong that is all we ask for that is all we ask for nothing more if you have not started praying pray because we are getting to the end of the road Biafra is coming very very soon and faster than you can believe our spirit leader Mazen Nankana is going to join us and for you to know when and how he's going to join us continue to pray along with him do not listen to gossip do not listen to gossip there is a lot of distraction out there now a lot of people instilling fears on those who are supposed to speak up do not be afraid do not be a coward and don't chicken out because this is the time to fight more double your effort whatever you have been contributing to the actualization of biafra actualization of Rudua, whatever you are contributing to the actualization of the freedom of the people of the country of Korn, nigeria double it this is the time to fight. It is not time to blame and it is not time to carry propaganda. It is not time to begin to talk about irrelevant things. This is the time to fight. More especially for those of you who said Mazen Nandi Kano doesn't know how to do it. What are you doing? Now, what are you doing? You have the chance to do everything you want to do now to free your people. What are you doing? What are your own strategies? We are all those people making noise, saying that he doesn't know how to do it. We are at their voices now. They have all disappeared. They have all chickened out. Cowards everywhere but for those of us who believe in our shoulder mass and can we are moving forward we are not stopping instead we are doubling our effort because our spirit of martin nanikan is with us in spirit if you think he's you have captured him and he cannot speak to us he speaks to us as we are praying along with him we started speaking speaking together and praying together before you took him away from us and that prayer chain of prayer continues it is that chain of prayer that we started before you took him away that is still connecting us to him. And we can hear him loud and clear. Every strategy he has put in place, we are following. And Biafra will be actualized. And he himself will be free before you know it. Even the Janja will not know how he's going to be free. Our Swindle Mazen Nandi Khan is going to be free because Chukwo Kabiyama have said it. Chukwo Kabiyama sent him an assignment and he is carrying out his assignment. And no human being born of a woman can be able to stop that assignment until the assignment is completed. We are moving ahead. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter the strategy they use. You can see what is happening. Already, the enemies are crumbling. The enemies are, they are in trouble. The enemies are running health and scared. They don't even know where to lay their hand upon. That is where they are boxing, hitting and shifting all angles. Playing all kinds of strategies. Using their divide and rule. Using ethnicity. Using all manner of forces to make sure they put confusion in our midst. But we will not allow them. If you are truly somebody who is asking for freedom in Biafra, don't allow the enemies to penetrate. Don't listen to anybody. Do not listen to gossip. We are looking for one thing. Do not talk down on any institution that our Swindle Mazin Nanikana has supported. Any institution that our Swindle Mazin Nanikana has supported, do not talk down on it. Mazin Nanikana established the DOS by himself. And he was a member of the DOS. So, we have to continue to pray along with Mazen Nanikan and listen to the DOS, whatever they said. As if you pray along with Mazen Nanikan, even when there is a mistake, you are going to notify it and it is not by quarreling. 
you don't talk down on them, why you are obeying them, the spirit of Chuko Gabia will continue to reveal to you the right thing to do, and you will do it. You will continue to follow the DOS until Spirit of Martin Nanikan comes out. Go to the platform of our brother Simon Epa. Our brother Simon Epa, even while Martin Nanikan was with us, and when he left, he told us to listen to him that he is doing a great job. And go there, you will find out by yourself. You'll be convinced that he is doing a great job. Fighting for the freedom of Biafra and the freedom of every southern and freedom of every indigenous tribe in Nigeria. That is the mission of Simon Epa. That is what he's doing. And that is what every Biafra should be doing. It is not time to ask for posts or begin to talk of who is Sabotua and who is not a Sabotua. If you are a Sabotua, go, go ahead with your Sabotuare. If you choose to be a Sabotua, go ahead. We don't have your time. We are focused on looking for Biafra. Focus on following the spirit of Asun Mulawaz and Nandekano to walk and do the things he wants us to do. That is what we are focused on. We are focused on our prayer, listening to every step that we take that Chuko Kabyon will reveal through Asun Mulawaz and Nandekano. That is where we are focusing. We don't have time for the saboteurs and we don't have to talk about them. Every Biafran has to put hand on deck. And believe you me, the struggle has gotten to a level where every Biafran is now working towards the freedom of Biafran. Even without giving any instruction, every Biafran is working according to what you will and want us to do. And we have to continue to do it. Unless you are not a true Biafran. We continue to do it. Don't be distracted. Don't mind. They will come. They will bring their propaganda and they will come. You can see. They are already confused. You see what Hopu Zodema is doing in Imo State. Hopu Zodema, who you and I know very well, that he was not voted by Imo State people. It was the ginger weed that took him and placed him on that seat by force. He forced him on Imo State. And today, he's killing Imo State people. You can see recently, he came out to announce that the open grazing that the southern governors have come together to and enact, the open grazing that southern governors have come together to ban, that he is not part of it. Hope who's the man is denying that he has his own strategy. This is the kind of... When we are talking about him, people think... When Asun Lamazin Nandekano is talking about that man, Talking about Hobu Zedimuma, people don't understand. When Wednesday night, the guy is talking about that Mala, Mala, Hobu Zedimuma, people don't understand. Today, he's playing it out. Even Ohaneze is coming out to challenge him. Ohaneze is now coming out to attack him. These are people who refuse to listen to a swing the gun. Eventually, that is how God will set them upon themselves. Those who want us to die, God will set them upon themselves and they will kill themselves. They will consume themselves. He's coming to challenge who is in power and who is not in power. Telling us that who he, he is in control of South Eastern He is in control of Imo State. He is not in control of Imo State and everybody knows it. If you are in control, you wouldn't be having the military all over to begin to force people to obey you. If you are in control, you give the order and people obey you. But who, who is obeying you in Imo State? It is only the word of Asun Lamazin and Nanikano that they obey. Simple sit at home, they sat at home without being forced. And are still sitting at home. Even when it, it was lifted. So you come in to boast and tell us you are, in, you are in control. If you are in control, you don't even need to advertise it. We know. You don't need to tell us that you are in control. If you are. These are the kind of people who have. Playing to the tone of the ginger way. You see them plan, going to going to philanizing party. If a party that is willing to philanize, now he's talking about the election. Promoting the election. Election will never hold in the southeastern part of Nigeria. No more. Hope Zoduma will be the last person they impose on us. And look at that same Hope Zoduma is the person they have chosen to go and capture Anambra State. Dead on arrival. That election will never hold. That is why we say election will never hold in Biafra land again. If Hope Zoduma, who was not elected, who was forced or not, is the person that they have sent to Anambra State to go and campaign, what do you think will happen? What do you think? What reason do you have to go and say you want to participate in such an election? In such an election, whom the person who is going there to campaign or going to talk about is somebody who was not even elected. How on what basis are you going to stand and say you want to vote? Look at this kind of people that are coming out. Fraudland, frosters. Frosters who have fought themselves on their people. These are people you want us to work with and people you want us to look at. We will never accept it. It doesn't matter what they say, it doesn't matter what they do, it doesn't matter how they do it. There will be no election in Iron State. There will not be election in Iron State. And I want you to listen to that fool who called himself Hobu Zodemuma, who said he's in control. Listen to how he's boasting. How the coward is boasting. Boasting. He's not even afraid. He's boasting, thinking that he's in control. That is what, you know, 
Watch what he's saying. Watch him first. Anti grazing. Law, I don't have any law in Imo State for anti grazing. But what we have done, we are regulating grazing activities in Imo State under a partnership between our farmers and our headers. They, they signed an MOU in my office and they agreed to work together. And both parties are going about their businesses without interfering or causing any grievance or anger to each other. The South East will have a leadership uh, organization, the PAN organization that is in charge of both our cultural and um, social activities, the Ohanes and Dibo. So I don't want to speak for them, but I know in Imo State, there's only one governor, and only the governor can order, working with other members of the government, that people should sit at home and it will be obeyed. I don't want to sit here and recognize that there's an any order outside the government of Imo State because there's a government. I, IPOB is not the government in Imo State. The Imo State government has not authorized any sit at home. And like I did said, say here a few minutes ago, uh, in Imo State, people are going about their businesses, workers are going to work, and normal business activities are on. And uh, for now, I told you that Imo State is relatively calm. Before the uh, end of last league period, we even had a football match between Heartland and Adama Football Club in the night at Dan Ayam Stadium. And people witnessed it all over the world. That will tell you the extent of uh, uh, friendliness and the good environment for businesses in Imo State. That two big clubs like that played the football match in the night. And our people went to watch the match and got home without uh, anybody molesting them. Yeah, the business of government, you know, is the protection of lives and property. And uh, we must act as a government and live up to uh, the responsibilities of our government. So we try to maintain uh, law and order and condemn illegal and criminal activities and make those who are apprehended to face uh, the law. So I think that uh, with the political will and cooperation of our people, particularly our traditional leaders and uh, our traditional rulers, we've been able to, uh, to a reasonable extent, manage control of criminality and illegality in Nemo State. Recall that during, at the height of this uh, incident, the prison yard, the correctional center facility in Oweri was broken. All the suspects and the prisoners escaped. Some of them are still at the fringes, doing what they know how to do. While government is also working hard to do what they are supposed to do. So in no small time, I'm sure and almost certain that uh, life will return, normalcy will return completely, 100% to Imo State. You know our president, you know him, he will only encourage you. He doesn't interfere. But we are in charge of the campaign. Me, I'm the chairman of the council. And the, the good news is that the political leadership in Imo, in Imo land, we have this result to be part of the federal government, to participate at the national level, to leave a provincial championship to national championship. So what we have decided to do is to ensure that we embrace the ruling part, APC. And we are taking the message to Anambra. And by the grace of God, Anambra people will buy the message. And the Igbo land will be recovered. Now, in Imo State, uh, our people sat for NICO, sat for all the exams. They were, we are not, we were not affected. So, and I don't think uh, that the sit at home worked in Imo State. If you check your facts very well, they will tell you that uh, our students sat for the exam and the exam went on very well and successful. Um, the petroleum tankers, uh, is all a very simple thing. People have chosen to do things that are not proper. A, a road contractor, construction contractor, not even during my regime, destroyed some part of a gas station, filling station at Tolo. And the, the, the owner of the station took the contractor to court. Imo State government was just a part of the fourth, uh, 
defendant in the case. Ridiculously, a judge ordered that the most government should pay uh, the contractor some money in excess of 100 million. This case, Imo State government is not the main defendant. However, this judgment was given during my time. What we did was to issue notice of appeal, applied for stay of execution. Then the owner of the gas station, having been a tanker driver, took undue advantage of his relationship with the association and got the tanker drivers to embark on strike. How do you explain that? If we continue in this manner, one day these scrafish sellers will come together and also embark on strike. So I know that since the man was wise enough to go to court, I think he should be patient enough to wait until the end of the litigation. So now that we have appealed, he should be patient enough to hear what the court of appeal will say. And then if it is favorable to us, he can go to Supreme Court. If it's not favorable to us, we can also go to Supreme Court. But the situation where I will sit down there and the every association of an association will just threaten and uh, allow themselves to be used by opposition politicians to embarrass government. I would not encourage that. It doesn't take two, 15 minutes to cross Moody Tuli, Anambra, for people to buy fuel, to River State, to Abia State. You know, we have this, we are equidistant with some neighboring states. So I don't think that is something to break our head. I'm appealing to them to interrogate their consciences and do the right thing by ensuring that they do their businesses too. Because by by cutting the supply of fuel, they are also not doing their businesses. And it's all the, the poor people who are not able to travel out to buy fuel that the thing will affect. They say when the gods want to kill a man, they will first make him deaf and dumb. When the gods want to kill a man, they will make him deaf and dumb. Just as Hopu Zerimba now is now, is now deaf and dumb doing everything against the people to make sure he hand over the Igbo land to the Fulani Jajaweed. To make sure he hand over Igbo land to Fulani Jajaweed by all means possible, which is the mission, why they force him on us. But he's not going to succeed. He will not succeed. It doesn't matter how we try. He will not succeed. He is going to fail. In shame, thank God for our Mazen Nandekano. Our school leader Mazen Nandekano, who is a Messiah, have opened up our eyes to warn us about what is about to happen what is happening today and that is why we are all awake that is why they are not even capturing us the way they are capturing others because our school Mazen Nandekano gave us the instruction not only giving us the instruction and telling us he put some things in place he gave us the ESN and the ESN are protecting the land as he has told you that no inch of Biafra land will be lost to the Florida Jajaweed no inch will be lost Chukukukadema have said it through our school leader Mazen Nandekano and so shall it be Everything is in place, even though they are holding as soon as they can. As soon as they can, have already had a project of years to come on the ground, and we will continue to work towards it. They will never succeed. We should go to protect as soon as wherever he is. He is our savior, as God has given him to us. We love him so much, and we continue to pray with him. Pray for him wherever he is, and he will join us very, very soon. Before we go, I would like to play for you another video of Asuna Mazen Nandekano, the case he was making for Biafra. For those who thought that maybe he was talking only when he was abroad, Mazen Nandekano was speaking loudly, even while he was in Nigeria. He was fighting while he was in Nigeria, speaking out and calling them out, even while he was in Nigeria. Some fools who doesn't know whom he is, who doesn't know him very well, thought it was, it was only when he went abroad that he started speaking. Mazen Nandekano has been active, speaking even while he was in the soil of Nigeria. Telling them exactly what needs to be done. I would like you to listen to him. The case, Mazin Nandikan, made for Biafra. Why we must leave Nigeria. Why we must leave the contraption. The mission of Biafra. It is Biafra or death. Let us listen to our school leader, Mazin Nandikan, His Excellency. Nobody saying anything. The place is so bad that it can never be repaired again. That's how bad it is. They're not saying anything. We only have two major roads. Libo Chai, which is for tax house, we only do. Foundation, we only do. Are any of them built? I can't even now get you. I want to iron wood. I buy a standing walk. I buy an hour. But again, of course, again, I old road. Ask yourself why. Marathons, Ganambara, Ganambara, of course. Who's him now? 
Oh, see, I can have it. I mean, crude oil and gas. Why are we suffering bad roads? Because when they go to Council of State meetings, our governors are not moved. They don't say anything. They are just there looking at the shit issue. He must say that you are defeated in the the war. So shut up. You shut up and say that. They need them. So we need somebody like I or Fire or Shit who can stand up and say something and stand up. Nothing will happen to you. When IPOD is behind you, nobody can remove you from it. It's impossible. And I get me a man of the one. It's impossible. It is their duty to please the home constituency. No, no, from my money won't be never. It's because we have seen that I have a lot of people at house. Yes. I'm saying to the governors, if you display the same type of law, I come back with that for us. Yes. People will love you. You don't need to contest anymore. And you're telling me if I say is coming up for for mm-hmm. for election, somebody will defeat him. In the state, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's read the letter. Yeah. And if we keep quiet now, following the same format that has been there before, they have brought out their machines from from China. They brought them right from China. All right. They have replaced almost all the what? GPOs. For the election. Is that not correct? Okay. They have replaced all the serving military personnel here and brought in new people to deliver a net result. When we complain, they say, we hear, I don't get anybody, I don't get cargoes, I don't get Fulani. But you cannot tell me that in a country where the head of state is uh, Fulani from the north, uh, all the chiefs in the military, I mean staff, not just from the north. From the north. Mm-hmm. Everybody from the north. Yeah, Immigration yeah. from the north. Yeah, Customs yeah. from the north. Yeah. Is, uh, what is it called? Uh, civil defense from the north. Everything from the north. Yeah. But you are the one claiming that yeah. you love Nigeria. One Nigeria. You claim one Nigerian, that you dominate your papai everything. Even because we have been turned into traders here, even the little road that we have, only two, on the Chateau Elugu, to Yibwacha, they can never build for us. They are rolling a uh, payload down there because of IPO. They one of us um, um, yeah, adopted. Our uh, Fulani youths came up and said, we are giving you quick notice. There is no other prisonable offense better than that. They kept quiet because they are fallen. Yes. They came out and they said our elders asked us to issue quick notice. Yes. Everybody is keeping quiet. Benjamin the Magu, Tina Bella Oudi, David, when we say Brad Jimmy says she wants, they are still in prison. What is their crime, I ask you? Because they are wearing. I feel you being Muslim. Yeah. But people that issued a threat, a quick notice, a genocidal quick notice, they are moving about freely. And their governors come boy. Their governors protect them. Our own governors ask for that to kill us in this land. What type of men are these, I ask? I can't believe that I'm going to pull up and damn people are blocking the road. And I said I'll go and I'll pass through there. That's what I'm coming for. And you did. Why not? <laughs> Only one of the banker who gave birth to the idiot. In this land of Biafra, I will go to anywhere. I will break every cordon. I will go to everywhere. No idiot can stop me. And who may be idiot, I'm saying. He hasn't been born to stop me. I'm not now the kind. I'm not one of those people. I am unbridable. I cannot be bought. My conscience cannot be bought by anybody. I'm not doing what I'm doing because. I want to be famous, I want to be rich, I don't need your wealth, I don't need anything from you. I want this land to be liberated and to be free. Yes, yes. Nothing will happen. That's why we say we won't vote. It's complicated. That time they will know we are serious. That time they will give us everything we want. Because Nigeria will know that come 2019 that they cannot produce a president because South East and South South, there will be no election. People say I should leave to the ban. I say, for what? If I leave it, then what becomes of us? How can they make changes to this country? How? I'm asking you. We have dragged them kicking and screaming. IPOB, having lost 91,000 men. For Fulani to agree that they will restructure. To agree to restructure, we have lost a thousand men. 
And today, one person will come out and say, we cannot restructure, we don't know what we're asking for. Is it difficult? Call all the people that make up Nigeria. Call them to a round table and say, what type of country do you want all of you together? Then you decide. Those that want to go can go. Those that want to stay can stay. A white man cannot create a country for me. It's impossible. I'd rather be in the grave. It's not. I'm, I'm telling you, this cannot be done. Because I cannot go to England and create a country. A white man cannot come and create a country for me. I want you to convince me as to why I should be in Nigeria. Not by force with AK-47. You are dreaming. It can never happen. That's why I do what I do. Not for anything else. I was not born to do anything else than to rest on the aircraft. I will come. It doesn't matter what man does. Oh, do man for money can you have that also? Oh, my boy, so some work have war only. All of you, some of you here, you will go on to sire children. You have brothers and you have sisters. When they graduate, why are they going to work? Come to go do nothing. How many people can Anambra State government employ? How many graduates do we produce in Anambra State in a year? How many graduates? How many vacancies do we have in the government? In other words, the question begins to beg itself where are the industries and the factories and the service sector where all these fresh graduates will work? Tomorrow they carry gun and they go and kidnap. They say, oh, they are kidnappers everywhere. Because they have nothing else to do. It's common sense. And I don't mind the devil's workshop. It's simple common sense. I live in England. I live in England. If you don't have any money, the state will put, set up a house for you and give you what is called job seekers allowance. Because they know that hunger can drive you to stop people on the road and begin to stay with them. I am not a theorist. I don't believe in theory for my life. I don't believe, oh, I don't believe in theory. I don't believe in that rubbish. Oh, I don't believe in theory. That's what I believe in. And that's what I'm here to tell you. Because, no, you don't mind. Now, for you, the first thing that you have to do is to do something. You have to do something. You have to do something. Because this nonsense is too much. I will stop it. And our stand is on the 18th. There will be no elections in the United States. We can go to it. We can go to it. Why? You ask me. Until INEC comes out openly to say we will not interfere in the results. Okay. They must say so. A thing is cancelled. We won't talk about to make an till tomorrow morning. That is why we must know this. So that Nigeria will now be placed on notice that come 2019, nothing is happening. Only then will they hasten and give us something to hope. Right now, we have nothing. They structure the railway. Did they include us in the railway? No. They are the ones claiming they love Nigeria. We want Nigeria to be one. Are we part of their class in the railway? No. I'm asking. So who is having Nigeria? Who is breaking Nigeria? The same people. Hypocritical claiming it is a shame. I wish some of them in the Niger Delta can see what we have seen. Are you telling me if all the oil in Nigeria and gas were to be found in Yoruba land, that they would allow their headquarters to be located somewhere around there? No, no, no way. It will never happen. No way. That's all offices are in the West. So they have an interest in protecting one Nigeria. I am not against Nigeria in principle. I'm against Nigeria because it can never ever work. The hypocrisy and the hatred is too much. Why should I import a car from Lagos? Just tell me. Why you bought a car for tacos in there? What is closer? Can I buy is closer? Why must I import something from Lagos? Nobody can answer that question. And when I want Biafra, they say I come from anything from I will keep causing problems if Biafra comes. Anyhow, they want stability. <laughs> <laughs> His Excellency, you are, you, are, you are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. Yeah. I, I, I don't know whether you know you are, you are, you are going to draw the synergy between the, the, the South East, South East governors. 
Yes, you have to marshal out this point. When so they, this point has been really convincing. When they call me, we have a meeting. All of them individually are good people. I have nothing against any of them. I went to a wedding. Rogers is not here. He doesn't like me. And I'm not sure if I like him either. <laughs> I went to Imo State. Rogers never asked for me to stop me. Rogers of Croatia, I'm saying it. Rogers of Croatia never mobilized the army to stop me. The army tried to stop me in Ebony. Today, in my own land. In, I am a Biafra in my own land. It's not possible, it can never happen. I have told him and I keep telling him. They think they know, and I'm telling them, you don't know anything. I'm a political economist. That's what I studied in school. I was taught by white people. Not to, uh, one week you go to school here, four years strike, you know. We have the solutions, and I feel this to need to practice. We are going to build our roads, and second I will build it ourselves. Using our own engineers, we will build it. After all, people were crossing from one chapter, one chapter, one chapter. Isn't it? It's called is a haba, it's not a saba, and the name is a haba. Yeah. Maybe to have it named a haba, it's a haba, not a saba. So we know what we are doing. They will not give us good dose. I feel we will do it. They will give us seven Niger like bridge. We are going to do it ourselves. Because if you go out now on the road to repair any roads, you'll be arrested. Do you know that? Do you know? If you go to build a road, do you know that? <laughs> In that federal state, you'll be arrested there and there on the spot. And they go through those bad roads every blessed day. I urge you, from here to where it's manageable, then from over to my you see what will happen to you. We can't live like this, I tell you. We need to make this one supreme sacrifice. Don't ask how people to do it. To have from elections on the 18th. And I probably saw it. We'll be here, they'll be dancing and singing. Only one seat at home, 30th of May, they went mad. Yeah. Right now, they have all the levers of power. They have every power. Every power position belongs to them. You have nothing. On the 18th, we will have something. Because they want us to die, but I was saying we won't vote. Yeah. Until you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. They know if Anambra doesn't vote, the world will ask them, what if Anambra doesn't vote? They say they want their Biafra. That's the biggest advice for Biafra you can ever have in your life. Then the world and the spirit, you do the spirit world, you know, they are very serious. They are not joking. If you ask me to bring out my family and put my on their neck for the other to come, I'll do it. Before you push it, I'll do it immediately before you. There is something in Biafra that people don't see, but we can see. People don't know what Biafra is. I can see Biafra in the spirit of Nari, people cannot see it. I'm telling you. When you are not for hard police, and the north, they are the Kalis. There was no police in Ebola, no police, until the white man came. Did anybody go about stealing anybody's um, property? If you are farming, can you get to the boundary of the town and cross? I'm asking you. No, I need you to come from somewhere and say that this land belongs to them. You know the land is not theirs. In those days, it will never happen. You will die within two weeks. These are the values we need to return to. To make God love us the way He had intended. No race on this earth, including Israel, has the same love from the Most High. We answer with two. Is that not correct? Yes, we have one more Is that not correct? Yes, we have one more neighbor. The children of the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> In Hebrew state, is that not correct? We have one more Zan. We have one more Nachi. One more Nachi. One more Nachi. One more All these names glitter everywhere. We don't even know the meaning of them. Do you have such names in your Bible? No, no, no. You are the direct descendants of the children of the Most High in heaven. The devil is trying to confuse us, putting Nigeria before us so we cannot see the promised land. But I can see it. And that's what we're pursuing. And we're going to succeed. So, about the MR election, you know, they will appoint a caretaker person for only three months constitutionally. Constitutionally, yeah. Only three months. Only three months. They must call for another election. 
and then I net will be thrown away. Mm. And yes, from four. Is it four? Is it four? Four. 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 Then we'll bring millions on the on behind whoever is the Jimmy Biafra. They'll be in an ambassador. Okay. That's what we're looking for. If we go now and vote, they will read it. They say, oh, I mean, is not strong. Can't you see? After all these things they are doing, they are not strong because I have read it. Do you know there was a quarrel in America between Trump and Clinton? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the quarrel was all about? Electronic voting. It's a software written by man. Yes. You can write into the software APC, PDP, UPP, ALC, all those rubbish mm -hmm. on their system. If you are voting for Afghan, your vote will be going to ABC. It's a software. Mm -hmm. Even it's computer. It's programmed now. Whichever option you choose, the program needs to give it to the person that they want. They want yeah. So what proof do you have mm -hmm. when you go to court? Absolutely nothing. People without light and powers and they uh, are trying to computerize their truth. Is that possible? Huh? Mm -hmm. eh? It's not possible. So that's what we're dragging and that's where we're heading to. If all these things, they say, what do you do to the I said, because Ahanese is not behaving like Ahanese. We say we want to be Afra. You want me to drop the Afra for something else. And I'm asking them, where is that thing you want me to drop it for? Do they have anything? No. Eh? Okay. Oh, come to your place. Yeah. You say you don't want me to come in with this, but I'm saying, oh, I'm, I'm hot. I used to hang myself. Yes. Give me alternative now. Yeah, yeah. Alternative, you cannot give me. You said drop the Afra. Then, then where is the hope then? No way. I'm telling someone I have nothing more, nothing less. Have they gone to Fulani and say we have brought back this type of arrangement for Nigeria? You know, my children, if we do it this way, do it that way, everything will be okay. I will say yes. But there is nothing. You want me to throw it away? Well, there is nothing else. That's why we do what we do. In our call, we get room. After three months, they'll come for another election. Then we put somebody in government's law in our country. Who wants to be there? Not who I was happy for. Do you know the reason why I was happy put them there? So when I was uh, army and police blocking the law, because now the town is coming, they won't have the mouth to ask them to leave them. During the elections, they talk about hate speech. They are the manufacturers of hate speech. During the elections, Jonathan's billboard was gone to the north. Yes. Yes, now. Campaign His campaign vehicles were burnt. They used their, their media hate money. Because they have all the money in the world. Of course. So, so if, you, if you listen to hate speech, you think it's in the camera. Yes. It was our WhatsApp for an boy as an imagine that yes. gave quick notice. That is hate speech. They have they cleverly turned it out. Britain supports us. You know, no one is going to come to your rescue because of that we can do anything we like to you. And I said to them, no, it cannot happen. Oh, my man. I want them to be as stupid as sending me back to jail. I will thank God in heaven. <laughs> because Canada was locked down completely on the 18th. They will know how serious. They think they are joking. Oh, hang on, go, go, go. leave us. We have a new battalion. Let's go open fire. If I give guns to IPO, this country cannot last for 24 hours. It's true. It's true. Now they are shooting us, nobody will see it. They are all blind. They cannot see. Anywhere we start, they say they have started. Yeah. They send people who didn't go to school and imagine it. Give them a care for the seven with police and army uniforms to come to this land and mess us up. Maybe broken already, but I can't. I'm not the can. Don't take nonsense. All right, then. After hearing the voice of Washington Mazin Danikan, I must tell you, I am energized, I am strengthened. The message of Azul Damazin Danikano is one of the food I eat to make me strong. It gives me energy. It makes me to look forward to that wonderful home that we are expecting to walk into. And very soon, we will go into that 
very country, a beautiful nation, a land flowing with milk and honey. We we'll walk into it with our head lifted high, singing the national anthem of Biafra, lifting our flag high. Very, very soon. Nobody, no man, one of a woman will stop it. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra will come. Odudua will emerge. Every indigenous tribe in Nigeria will be free. That is our mission. Thank you for watching and remember us. Bye bye. See you again on the next video. Thank you.